Hi Aquarius, it's Elle here to do your daily reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's get into it. Thank you God for blessing Aquarius with a clear, concise message from you. All right, Aquarius, so we're going to do this backwards. We're going to start backwards. All right, so we're going to start with the outcome. What is the outcome of this reading for Aquarius? What is the outcome? Meditation brings answers. All right, so if you have questions, meditate on those questions because you can get the answers that you're looking for. Angelic presence is around you. The universe wants to help you, wants to assist you. Okay. What is the outcome? Recovery. All right. So you're going to recover some knowledge. You're going to recover all that was lost. Some of you are going to go through the healing process. You'll start it. And then some of you are on the tail end of the healing process. Like you, you're doing the work. You have done the work. You're like almost done. So this is really good. Um, let's see what else is coming for the Aquarius. We've got unlikely. Something is unlikely. Um, now, whatever you are fretting about whether you whatever you are worrying about that's unlikely to happen whatever negative vibe negative scenario that you are painting in your mind in your heart space it's unlikely to happen the universe has your back the outcome for Aquarius get more information do the work ask the necessary questions um, get in front of someone who has some expertise you know talk to somebody who can give you express knowledge okay about what you are embarking on what you're trying to get into also if you are assuming something about any particular person go and have the conversation with them and have a dialogue that gain that gets knowledge you know gets information don't just w work off of assumptions let's see what else there could be some more information that comes out about something that you're in involved in okay there's something better Aquarius if you're holding on pining after wishing and hoping that something changes within a love relationship business partnership job there is something better and within the next few months you may find that something better okay that something better may find you uh, you just have to be in the right place at the right time is what i'm hearing okay so what is the situation that's going on for aquarius since we already have the outcome there's something better get more information something is unlikely to go in a negative way um, you're, you're likely more likely to get a positive uh, recovery of it's like you lost something Aquarius either you lost yourself and you need to recover your power or you lost maybe material possessions you're going to recover all um, some of you had, it's like the Job story you know if you've read the Bible the Christian Bible um, maybe you lost everything and now you're on the tail end of recovering it all. Okay. This is really good for a lot of you. All right. Let's see what's going on for my Aquarius. What is going on for the Aquarius? What do we have for Aquarius? Does the universe want the Aquarius to know? Wow. Three of cups. Yeah. This is the initial stages of creation. If you thought that all was lost, do know that you're going to have reason to celebrate, to get with loved ones, trusted individuals, neighbors, siblings. You're going to express yourself and your emotions in the way of enjoyment, fulfillment. Um, three of Pentacles. Um, it looks like you're going to be signing some contracts and paperwork. You're doing some high quality work. People are looking in on what you do. People look at you or look to you for inspiration. People are coming to you wanting to patronize your business, patronize you, use you if you're in a work setting. Four of Pentacles, you could have a large sum of money coming to you. You could have a newfound wealth or newfound wealth where you're gonna to try to maintain it, but it says money is energy. Uh, put your money into something uh, that will be fruitful, that will grow. Don't go into partnership. The four of pentacles talks about work alone. 
It talks about maybe holding on to deep seated issues. You're letting it go. Some of you need to go into the recovery phase where you got to do the healing work and let go of those issues. The death card, you're going from one dynamic to the next higher and higher, letting that old self die, going to your new self. Cause there is something better than what you have been engaging in than what you have been allowing. This is really good Aquarius. So, I mean, any, it could be any type of dynamic going from homeless to home business to working for someone or from working from, for someone to having your own business, but it benefits you. The nine of wands, uh, don't give up before the actual miracle happens in your life. Don't resolve to just let it go. Get back in the fight. Yes, you are the wounded warrior. You have been through. You have gone through. Every day was a struggle, says the Nine of Wands. An uphill battle, being the scapegoat. The Nine of Wands says continue to fight because you're going to see if you persevere, you're going to see golden goose. I don't know what that means. Let's see the five of cups here. Continue to fight, continue to uh, go through the grieving process of letting go. It's five stages of grief, of grief. So they say, go through those stages, build that bridge, reconnect if you can, if you wish to. Know that re relationships are recoverable. The relationship with yourself is recoverable. Maybe you mistreated yourself. Maybe you, you short counted yourself or you, you put yourself out and put everybody else in. Maybe you didn't care for yourself as much as you should have. You regret not saying things to someone. You regret not standing up for yourself, not standing in your power. The seven of wands says that be proactive in changing your life. Be proactive in changing the narrative, the dynamic, get in front of something, do the work. You're going to have a lot of success. You're going to be publicly recognized and people will come after you. People will come for what you have accomplished. It says fight for what you have. If this is a relationship, if this is a business, if this is anything, if this is something that you have built, you have grown, fight for it. Don't just let them take it. Somebody could be coming in and try to take you by force or destruct what you have constructed. Fight back energetically, physically, mentally, emotionally. Put that wall up, that barrier, that put, put on the whole armor of God, put on uh, the breastplate of righteousness, put on oils, anoint yourself. Your head is anointed with oil, your cup runneth over something about some of you are you need to get some type of uh, some type of religion whatever your religion may be whatever your religious upbringing background spiritual you need to meditate on that and it could be anything whatever you believe in you need to use it because life is going to go at a real fast pace for you you're going to be Life is going to be real fun, fast paced. A lot of things are going to open up for you. A lot of opportunities. You're going to have to take action. You can't meditate. You can't wait because the universe is blessing you with an opportunity for growth, for wealth. The beginning does not determine the end. You're going to have to put 100% behind, 100% effort behind this to see it grow. You're at a place of really understanding your potential, your manifestation power. 
something that you've wished for, hoped for, dreamed for, manifest, prayed for, it's going to show up for you. And it's going to, you know, I don't want to use the word scare you, but it's going to put you in a place of understanding your power. You're not going to see it come in the two of swords. Focus on listening to your intuition. Focus on cooperating with the flow of the universe, of listening to that small, still voice that speaks to you. Because in these times, you may not have a lot of friends or trusted individuals around you that you can lean on, but you can always lean on that everlasting hand, whatever it is you believe in. But you got to look to something higher than you, to something superior than you, to something who knows all. It might be feel it might feel like you're walking in the dark, but yeah, but you're gonna have to take this calculated risk, the fool card. You're gonna have to jump out there, leap of faith, step out on faith, knowing that the universe has your back with the fool card. There's a uh, the element of uh, beginner's luck associated with it. So that means that yes, we know that you don't know every twist and turn, you don't know every uh, roundabout. But we have you. We're going to put you in the right place at the right time. Beginner's luck. Aquarius, this is really good. This is this is really, 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 really good. What is the advice for Aquarius moving forward? Advice for Aquarius moving forward. The death, the devil card, temptation, fear, playfulness. Her gluttony, I know. I have. I know it's associated with that, but so that's overeating, overindulging. Make sure that whatever choice you choose doesn't lead you to the road of entrapment. You've heard it before. Make sure that whatever you choose is not too extravagant. Only take what you need. Only use what you need. Going overboard, over over the top is not what you need right now. It's not going to get you your desired outcome. You're going to feel bound. That's what the devil card is about. It seduces you. You take it. And now you find yourself in a trap. You got to be trapped in something. You got to find your way out, right? That's what the devil card is associated with debt too, being in monetary debt, physical debt, because if you're indebted to me, viewer, listener, then you owe me, right? Um, you're, you're trapped in that debt until you repay it. However, I ask for it to be repaid. So make sure that whatever you choose, you're not going to be stuck bound, tied to it. It's not going to be a weight around your neck. The queen of fire. Yeah, because you're attracting a lot of different energy. There's somebody who wants to have sex with you badly. It's like they want to trap you. I don't know if they do like some type of sex magic ritual. Or they want to do this with you. Or they want to mesmerize you. Or they're mesmerized with you. It says that you're trying to get a lot done in a short amount of time and your head is on a swivel and you're you're the multitasker. But make sure you're not taking off more, biting off more than you can chew. Learn the lesson, the strength card, resist the devil and he shall flee. Resist temptation and it shall flee from you because it know it knows that, you know, no pride, you know, no ego. You you are. um. You're in control. You can control. You can tame the lion, the beast, the ego within. It's like somebody wants to come back and kind of, you know, whisper the sweet nothings in your ear, get you all in that place where you believe that it's more than just temptation, sex, carnal nature. You, you, they want to get you in a place of believing that they have more to offer than they do. That's the lie that the devil tells. But it says resist because what comes with this right here is mystery. 
they'll always keep you in a shroud of mystery, a cloud of mystery. You don't know what's coming next. What is the advice, last card of advice for the Aquarius? Don't hold back in terms of in terms of a uh, telling people how much money you have or you, how much money you're getting or some large sum of money. Yeah, know your worth. The Empress card, create, being an, an abundant energy of creation. But this is creation from a spiritual place, from a place of divine feminine and divine masculine energy with divinity spirit holding all of that energy together so that you can create you can co-create in your life in existence so this is being in control of your divine masculine divine feminine energy in the spirit god angels whatever you believe in is working with you to help you create you're going to knock down some stronghold, some strong tower in your life. Something that you, it was hard for you to let go of. It was hard for you to deal with. This could be addiction. This could be gluttony. Like I said, this could be just a strong attachment hold to a particular person, place, thing. But you, but if you resist and you, and you act in the energy of abundance, of love, of creation, of divine masculine divine feminine of resisting the divine feminine the high priestess resists she does nothing she knows the way of spirit she listens to spirit she listens to the small voice the divine masculine the magician he's getting he's channeling he's getting divine instruction plan from the universe and then you have spirit working with you some of you, it's like the universe is really trying to get you to a place of um, understanding your power, understanding your worth, understanding creation and co-creation, and releasing strongholds in your life and letting the tower fall. Stop trying to build on shaky ground. Stop trying to build I don't have anything just stop trying to build something that's not for you the tower speaks of historical reference so it's like something historically has been plaguing you whether it, it's a relationship a relationship with yourself with others how you look at yourself also I heard reparenting some of you need to go through the reparenting phase look it up Google it reparenting maybe you just you need to reparent yourself I don't know Wow you have not healed heal Aquarius next week could be significant there is no love and there's no love lost this is not love this is an unhealthy attachment. Somebody's beard, somebody's mask is slipping. You're going to see who they really are. You're coming out of that taking less than what you're worth. That side chick forever type of energy. It's in reverse. You're coming out of that. And you stop giving to somebody. You weren't even happy. You just kept showing up. Look like, it looks like you're focused on legacy now. Longevity. What matters? Could even be business. All right. This is what I have for you, Aquarius. I hope that it resonates for you. If it does, go over to the website book there. Ask a question or two by texting your question to the number below. You can also catch me live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. This is a very powerful reading, Aquarius. You know, um, if it resonates, let me know what part resonated for you. Get down in the comment section and 
if it was just one word, type that one word that resonated for you. If it was a phrase, type that. If business resonates for you, type that. Just so that this reading can get out to the masses. Think about the another Aquarius across the globe who could stumble upon this reading and how it could really bless them. Um, this is what I have for you, Aquarius. Thank you. Many blessings to you.